So hi, uh, I'm Sebastian. I'm also working in uh, Carla Gomes lab, also on the materials project. And this year, this is a topic related to the materials project. Um, it's about the numerical calculation of the FOIC profile. So first of all, what is the FOIC profile? It's defined as the convolution of a Gaussian function and a Lorentzian function, which we also know as the Cauchy distribution. What does it look like? Here you can see uh, three functions plotted. The, the blue one is a Gaussian, the uh, red one is a Lorentzian, and the, the yellow one is now the convolution of both. And you can see that it has a, quite a different profile. It has a, a higher maximum at the mode. It falls off in the intermediate values like a Gaussian function, and then asymptotically approaches uh, the decay of the, the Lorentzian um, 1 over x squared. Um, so why do we care about this? Well, in spectroscopy um, and related fields, uh, this, this shape occurs very naturally. Um, for example, in material science, in the spectrograms that uh, Junwen was just talking about, the diffraction peaks are theoretically modeled by, by this, this FOIC shape. Um, however, in applications, this is very expensive to compute um, because for each point uh, on this FOIC profile, you'd have to con you have to convolute two functions and do this integral every single time. And for this reason, uh, previous researchers have approximated this line shape with sums of Gaussians and Lorentzians instead of the convolution. Um, this is, however, not very accurate, and it's also not, uh, and if it is accurate, it's, it's mo mostly not valid throughout the entire parameter space of this function. Uh, and this motivates the goal of, of uh, this work, which is to provide an efficient means uh, to compute the FOIC profile and its gradient um, to virtually machine precision. The starting point for this uh, project was the Fourier representation of this uh, convolution. Basically, instead of convoluting two function, functions, you can look at the inverse Fourier transform of the characteristic functions of the Gaussian and the Lorentzian. And uh, after staring at this for a while, um, came up with a new uh, parameterization, which I think is very amenable to numerical calculations. You can see that above. And because this integrand uh, becomes very oscillatory for large values of x, so far out, um, because of the complex exponential there, um, I also derived an asymptotic expansion, which complements this integral representation uh, for those regions. Uh, so together, they can capture the entire parameter space. And uh, there's some neat um, approximations for this integral. Uh, which I don't have the time for right now, but they are also uh, based on a low rank approximation, a tensor approximation, which uh, Jan uh, was talking about before. I'm um, just going to skip to the results. Um, so the, this method compared to an adaptive quadrature te technique, integral technique uh, in MATLAB is, about, is more than two orders of magnitude faster, um, and it is accurate to machine precision for both the profile and the gradient. So, thank you.